Energy Secretary Jennifer Granholm testifying before the House Science Committee this week where she was pressed on the dangers of the Nord Stream 2 pipeline after the White House waived sanctions on the Russian company. Very interesting. Our next guest was one of the lawmakers asking those tough questions. Florida Congressman, National Guard Colonel and former Green Beret Michael Waltz joins us now. So, Congressman, uh, we were under the impression that President Biden didn't like pipelines because his first order of business was killing the Keystone XL pipeline, and yet he gives the green light to the Russia Nord Stream 2 pipeline. And you just found out this week that his energy secretary doesn't even agree with that decision. So what did you learn from that exchange with her? Yeah, that's right. So we have a situation where President Biden comes in, shuts down the Keystone pipeline, does very little in return for the attack uh, of Russian-backed hackers on the Colonial pipeline. And then right in the wake of that, very curiously and interestingly, lift sanctions on Putin's pipeline uh, heading from Russia into Germany. In the middle of all of that, apparently his energy secretary not only had, no, uh, you know, had little, if anything, to do with the decision, nothing to do with the decision, according to her, but disagreed with it. Uh, on one, on grounds that it creates dependency in Europe on Russian oil. We're paying lots of money and sending lots of soldiers to defend Europe from Russia. Now we have a dependency from an energy standpoint. And then very interestingly, said she disagreed with the Biden administration's decision because that pipeline moves one of the dirtiest forms of oil and gas in the world. And that's really bad for Biden's climate agenda. So what gives? What does give, Congressman? That's What's right. your explanation? Why did he lift these sanctions? We, we don't have one. Exactly. I mean, it's just case in point again and again and again, whether it's the Iran deal uh, or how he deals with hostages or how he deals with pa uh, Palestine and Hamas uh, of just a giveaway uh, with very little in return. Same thing in Afghanistan. You know, we still have a, an American hostage being held in Afghanistan, yet he is pulling everybody out uh, with getting nothing in return. I want to know what did Biden get in return for lifting sanctions on one of Putin's top priorities. Hmm. So the killer gets a pipeline, but our own companies here can't open one. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't understand it uh, at all. It defies explanation. But we and also, his energy secretary said not only did she have nothing to do with it, she disagreed with it. Well, yeah. It, it, uh, yeah. Well, you've I got, think he, you've would got, e he would even disagree with it, right, considering his climate agenda and all the money he's putting well, into climate change a, for our country. Last well, time yeah, I checked, Russia thing. was, yeah, was part of the world. approach to Russia over the last four to five years, it does defy explanation. Well, yeah, and oh, there may, maybe there's been some former business interests there, too. I don't know. Just asking questions. If you, if you can't get a why, you got to figure out what it might be. Yeah. Um, Colonel, real quick, though, we'd be remiss if we didn't ask you as a colonel in a U.S. Army Green Beret. Memorial Day is coming up. You know, who do you remember on Memorial Day? Well, you know, I wear uh, one of these uh, bracelets, Pete, every day for Staff Sergeant Matt Pacino, who took point on every single mission his Special Forces team went out on uh, until one day a Taliban tripwire uh, got him. Uh, I remember uh, Sergeant Brian Woods, who had premonitions of his own death so strong that he wrote letters to all of his family and teammates, yet he was charging uh, at Taliban position. Uh, when he, and sadly, he was, he was shot and, and, and killed. But at the end of the day, my message to all Americans is be worthy. Uh, be worthy of those men and women who didn't make it home. Be worthy of those that are out on that wall right now as we speak around the world for our freedoms that we can wake up breathing free air in a free country. When I uh, go into the Capitol every day, uh, I look in the mirror in my office and tell myself to be worthy of that sacrifice. What a beautiful message there. That's something that I think we should all remember every morning when we wake up. Be worthy of the sacrifices of others that led to the freedom that we all enjoy today. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Thank you, sir. Okay, guys. Right, I salute you. Have a good weekend. Back at you.